This is part two of part one, so if you haven't seen it, go and check that out right now. The link is right here because it won't make sense of part two. So go check it out. It was a pretty cool journey. You'll enjoy it. I know I did. I hope Jimmy did. And then come back and check this one out. Wait, there's a safety chain on it. Did you put that rail one on? What is up guys? So now we are finally back from that trip. It was absolutely miserable when it started to rain. But besides that, it was quite fun. Me and Jimmy were a good team and I couldn't have done this without him. So Jimmy, I know you're watching this or if you're watching this, which I hope you're watching this, you know, support a bro. Thank you very much. Couldn't have done it without you. You're a good bro. And hopefully you get one as well or get another one that we can work on together as well. So. Thank you so much. Right when we got there, it wasn't so bad as you could tell when we were in the car just scoping out the place. But as soon as we got back from getting grub from McDank's, it just all hell went loose. The wind picked up, rain started coming sideways, and it was absolutely terrible. We were soaked right down to our skivvies. It was so bad. On the way back home, we were blasting somewhat semi-heat just to freaking dry off. It was so bad. 
But right when we got back, lawn loading on the trailer, it, I mean, we wish that was like that before when we were loading it on, but stopped raining. It was nice, smooth getting it off, all the extra mis miscellaneous parts out of the bed of the truck into the garage. Nice, nice, smooth ride back, dropped off the trailer, refueled back up, and it was still nice weather. So we lucked out at the end, but not out in the middle. It just was terrible. So, what we got here is a 1966 Ford Mustang. It runs, it drives, it obviously needs a restoration. But what we got here is a 289, which is a 4.7 liter V8. In here we have an automatic three-speed transmission. The interior is quite um, dated, but it is very worn as you can tell. Uh, missing some panels, all that stuff. But which is nice is this came with the center console and the AC from the factory, which is a plus. The more options that were added original from the factory the more money these vehicles are worth not just with this one but with others as well because when it comes to it it's not it pretty much says back then in the day that stuff was an option ac was an option power steering was an option so the more that you bought into it when you first purchased it from the dealership the better it is now for money wise well i'm not planning on uh, reselling this i'm going to keep this I'm going to try to make it as original as possible. It came with The gentleman gave me the vinyl top for it. I'm going to put the vinyl top back on. The paint that came with it, the gentleman also gave me. The paint that this is, it's Night Watch Blue Metallic. I don't know if you can, you can see it or not. I mean, the paint is quite filthy. But that's what the guy did in the back. I need to do some rocker panels on it. i got to finish up realigning these fenders. These fenders are aftermarket. They're not original. The floors were actually done. The fuel tank was also done with new brake lines, but apparently there's no brakes and then a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here. That right there is the original carburetor that came on the vehicle. Uh, it needs to be rebuilt or I gotta get a different one because the one that is on there right now is complete crap. It runs way too rich. It's some cheap Chinese eBay crap that the gentleman told me to do. Looks like also, you know, I need, I need to get a battery and a new uh, solenoid because it won't start without me just jumping it type of thing with the negative side terminal on it. But besides that, this is a sweet car. Everything is here, the bones are here, which makes it so much that more easier and simple to restore it, which I can't wait. This is gonna be a sweet sweet car when it's all done cruising down the road ripping roasting tire all the way up and down the street no i'm probably not gonna do that but maybe one or two burnouts you know you never know but besides that this is a super super sweet car and i just can't wait to start getting into it and restoring it so the gentleman that I bought it off of said that this car came from Missouri. And I believe him because on the back here we got Missouri, University of Missouri. And then coming on to the front here, we have some Missouri tags up there for I don't know what, parking permit or something. But my buddy James seems to think that it came from a professor, some hot shot professor, you know, was whipping this bad Larry around or something like that. But so it came from Missouri, that's where it was born, started out its life, was in Missouri, and then it ended up in New York, which is probably where all the rust came from, and then it ended up in Massachusetts, which is where I bought it off of. So it's, it's got a pretty cool story. Also, I don't know if you can see, but the gentleman also said that, I don't know if you can see, right? I don't know, but there's a little little dings and dimples yeah right there right there there's little dings and dimples in the trunk paint he said that happened the the original owner that he got it from passed on the story that that happened in a tornado that happened in the hail and whatnot debris got thrown into and stuff and that is what caused that mark on there so i thought that was a pretty sweet you know little story added to it but I always find it so cool, the, I wish, I wish that this came with like 
a documentary or some photos or something like that from like when it originated, originated. You know, it'd be pretty cool the story behind all this. How many families? How many people drove drove in this? How many people got slayed in this? You know, so <laughs> this is just cool. It's a cool piece of history, and I can't wait to uh, get this thing back on the road, fully, completely restored, done right, and just enjoy it and have a blast. So this is the end of part two. Thank you for watching. There's gonna be so much more content to come with this. As you can tell, it does need a lot of work. And I gotta send out some parts to get rebuilt, such as the original AC and power steering pump. I wanna try to keep this as original as possible. So that has to get sent out as well. And with a whole bunch of other stuff I gotta get, and I gotta start the body work on it. So I got some work ahead of me. But besides that, this is a super killer, killer car and Thank you for, for watching. Like, subscribe, share, you do you, do what you want. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great night.